In this video, we are going to share with you accurate scientific information regarding chloroquine and hydroxychloroquine in COVID-19 treatment. COVID-19 causing virus belongs to the family of coronaviruses. Before 2019, we find 24 articles mentioning about coronavirus and chloroquine in the PubMed search. A research article in the year 2004 describes in vitro inhibition of severe acute respiratory syndrome coronavirus by chloroquine. The above article concluded, chloroquine, an old anti-malarial drug, may be considered for immediate use in the prevention and treatment of SARS coronavirus infections. A chronological look at several other research articles proposed chloroquine for coronaviruses control. In 2005, Chloroquine is a potent inhibitor of SARS coronavirus infection and spread. In 2006, potential antivirals and antiviral strategies against SARS coronavirus infections. In 2009, antiviral activity of chloroquine against human coronavirus OC43 infection in newborn mice. In 2014, four compounds, chloroquine, chlorpromazine, lopiramide and lopinavir inhibiting MERS coronavirus replication in the low micromolar range. Furthermore, there are other two scientific articles that mention about the benefit of chloroquine in controlling coronaviruses. In 2017, targeting endosomal acidification by chloroquine analogs as a promising strategy for the treatment of emerging viral diseases. In 2018, MERS coronavirus pathogenesis and antiviral efficacy of licensed drugs in human monocyte-derived antigen-presenting cells. There are several scientific studies suggesting the antiviral properties of chloroquine against rabies virus, poliovirus, HIV, hepatitis A virus, hepatitis C, influenza A and B, influenza A H5N1, Chikungunya virus, Dengue, Zika, Lhasa, Hendra and Nipha, Crimean Congo hemorrhagic fever, Ebola virus, Hepatitis B and Herpes simplex virus. Now the question is why chloroquine has not been used for treatment of these viral infections? The best possible guess is this is due to the side effects that chloroquine causes which are seizures, nausea, vomiting, deafness, vision changes, and low blood pressure. A recent tweet by President Trump attracted the attention of people around the globe regarding chloroquine and its derivatives. He tweeted, Hydroxychloroquine and azithromycin taken together have a real chance to be one of the biggest game changers in the history of medicine. The FDA has moved mountains. Thank you. Hopefully they will both H works better with A, International Journal of Antimicrobial Agents. President Trump tweet is based on a French study that described new insights on the antiviral effects of chloroquine against coronavirus, what to expect for COVID-19. A recent Chinese study also described the benefits of chloroquine with these words, breakthrough. Chloroquine phosphate has shown apparent efficacy in treatment of COVID-19 associated pneumonia in clinical studies. However, the tweet by Trump was not very well received in the scientific community. An article was published in CNN which said, fact check, Trump wrongly claims FDA approved drug chloroquine to treat the coronavirus. Further continuing the article, Chloroquine has not been approved by the FDA to treat the coronavirus and nor has any other drug. The FDA made clear in a post-briefing statement that said there are no FDA approved therapeutics or drugs to treat, cure or prevent COVID-19. Because chloroquine has been approved for other purposes, doctors are legally allowed to prescribe it for the unapproved or off-label use of treating the coronavirus if they want but its safety and effectiveness has not been proven with regard to the coronavirus. FDA Commissioner Dr. Stephen Hahn, speaking after Trump at the briefing, said that chloroquine would be tested through a large pragmatic clinical trial with coronavirus patients. 
In reply to a question in a press conference at the White House, hydroxychloroquine is a potential therapy for people who are infected with coronavirus. Dr. Anthony Fauci, Director National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases of the NIH USA, responded, The answer is no, and the evidence you are talking about, John, is anecdotal evidence. It was not done in controlled clinical trials, so you really cannot make any definite statement about it. President Trump replied, We all understand what the doctor said is 100% correct. I agree with the doctor what he said, it's, it is just a feeling. Why French study claimed chloroquine benefits in COVID-19 Chloroquine inhibits entry of virus into the permissive cells for coronavirus permissive cells are respiratory system cells. Moreover, chloroquine can also interfere with the post-translational modification of viral protein. Thus, viral proteins are not synthesized and a functional disease-causing virus is not formed. Now, I will share with you current status of chloroquine and its derivatives in the treatment of coronavirus. WHO launches glo global mega trial of the four most promising coronavirus treatments and one of them is chloroquine. New York to begin clinical trials for coronavirus with chloroquine and derivatives. Let's hope and pray soon there will be a treatment or efficacious vaccine for COVID-19 causing virus.